Electromagnetic interference, EMI, is a signal that can cause undesirable performance in a device or system. There are, of course, natural sources of EMI such as lightning, cosmic radiation, solar radiation, and nuclear decay. These are unique and require special consideration that is beyond the scope of this article. In common mode noise, common mode current flows both in both wires in the same direction, and returns to ground path via parasitic capacitance. In this case, the currents generate magnetic fields with equal magnitude and polarity, which do not cancel each other out. The common mode current is able to generate an electromagnetic field outside the spiral wound pair, which acts just like an antenna. The term common mode noise is used in both AC power management and in circuit design considerations. Both environments will be discussed. Common mode noise in terms of AC power is the noise signal between the neutral and the ground conductor. This should not be confused with normal mode noise, which is referenced between the line, hot, and the neutral conductor. Common mode noise impulses tend to be higher in frequency than the associated normal mode noise signal. This is to be expected since the majority of the common mode signals originate from capacitively coupled normal mode signals. The higher the frequency, the greater the coupling among the conductors, line, neutral, and ground. Electronic equipment is 10 to 100 times more sensitive to common mode noise than to normal mode noise. Conventional power transformers and isolation transformers will not block normal mode noise impulses, but if the secondaries of these transformers have the neutral bonded to ground, they serve to convert normal mode noise to common mode noise. From the standpoint of microelectronic circuits, common mode noise is even more potentially harmful than the normal mode noise. The biggest source of common mode noise is the difference in potential between two physically remote grounds. The second most significant common mode noise source is the potential due to ungrounded sources. Such problems can occur when a separate power supply is used to power the field device remotely and the remote power supply is left ungrounded. RFI noise sources provide ample opportunity to induce common mode noise. A poor ground system or an ungrounded analog signal cable can act as an antenna, gathering the induced voltage and applying it on the analog input. The most common methods of treating common mode noise lose their effectiveness as the frequency of the common mode noise increases. Common mode rejection CMR, techniques exist to prevent common mode noise from being converted to normal mode voltage. These techniques relate to the ability of an amplifier to reject the effect of voltage applied to both input terminals simultaneously. The CMR ratio CMRR, is the ratio in decibel of the differential voltage amplification to CMV amplification. CMR is often defined at an associated effective frequency with a maximum allowable input imbalance such as 120 decibels at 500 Hz 1000 ohms. A CMRR of 120 decibels means that a 1 volt CMV passes through the device as though it were a differential input signal of 1 microvolt. This implies that the higher the CMRR, the better. Reducing Common Mode Noise Here, we have a visual representation of how a common mode choke works. Common mode noise will create a magnetic flux inside the core, but this time it's in the same direction, as shown. The core will react to the frequency and convert it to heat. You can see a mushroom cloud in the in the middle of the core as an extreme example, but we're converting the frequencies to heat. This fact makes it important to choose the right core for the specific frequency you're working with. Because of the winding structure inside the part, we're not influencing the signal, therefore, if we choose the correct core, we'll get a high attenuation of the noise. When the signal will be attenuated, Something to keep in mind when using a common mode filter is that there will be a differential impedance that could attenuate your useful signal. The best solution to filter noise close to signal frequency. The impact on the noise is high, and the impact on your useful signal is kept to a minimum. Let's find out about the common mode noise for automotive. In recent years, electronic control units, 
AQs, have become more commonly used according to the higher functionality of vehicles. Because of this, standard interfaces for connections between devices are needed and optimal interfaces are used according to each usage for connections between devices. Common vehicle communication network interfaces are CAN and LIN, and the next generation interface FlexRay that can allow for drive-by wire systems. These interfaces have different data rates, but the internal connections are the same. Various noise sources exist inside of vehicles so it is necessary to design circuits by considering EMC so that devices are not affected by external noise and do not themselves emit noise. Common mode filters are effective at improving EMC for differential transmission. The following two benefits can be acquired by using common mode filters. 1. Suppression of radiation noise. 2. Improved immunity. This shows that common mode filters can be used to resolve problems related to EMC for vehicle communication networks. Thank you very much. We Croydon Services Private Limited are one of the prime destination for the end-to-end -end EMC solutions for automotive products and industries. You can connect us on www.croydonservice.com or Mail us your requirement on info at croydonservice.com.